Also, can you guys please go down to the comments and tell my mom that this is a good theme because I made her feel bad when I told her that it was a really dumb theme. So if you could go tell her that it's good, that'd be great. Thanks. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my July TBR for 2020 if you are new here then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR and there's always some theme that she picks for how she chose the book so this month's theme is what could possibly go wrong so without further ado let us get started so the first book that she chose is this is how it ends by Jen Nidole and if you think about it this is how it ends could end very terribly and that's how she described it but this is basically like a thriller book about five friends and then one of the friends is like in love with his friend's girlfriend and he has this dream that the friend did something bad but then it ends up not being a dream and the friend is a suspect in a murder and it's like the story of that. I don't know. I'm kind of confused and also the font in this is humongous so I feel like I'll be able to like fly through it really really quickly but yeah this is how it ends, apparently in murder. The next book that she chose is I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney. She chose this because it's like, I know who you are as in like, I know that you did something bad and therefore like I'm gonna tell everybody what you did, kind of like a stalker kind of situation. But this is another thriller. I think it's about a woman whose husband is murdered or kidnapped or something goes missing. Her husband is missing and the police start to suspect that she had something to do with it and it's like the story of that. So another thriller. We love that on this channel. I think honestly all of these are thrillers just because of the theme that she chose. So I'm gonna stop saying that they're thrillers. The next one that she chose is Give Me the Child by Mel McGrath. <laughs> the way that she explained this one was a lot. She said that like if you're standing on the side of a cliff and somebody's gonna like push you over the edge and they're like give me your child you'd probably give them the child or it could also be like a kidnapping so yeah another thriller this follows like a psychologist named Kat who wants a child really badly but she's unable to have her own and then like a little girl shows up on her doorstep and it turns out it's like one of her patient's kids and like she has to decide what she's gonna do about it but it says you won't want to eat sleep or blink so I'm hoping that it's scary the next one is actually not a thriller it is busted by Gina Kiyako, Kiyoka. I actually follow this author on Twitter and I think I won a giveaway and that's how I got this book. But it's like annotated by her so that's pretty cool. But busted as in like you're going to jail because you know what's the worst that can happen? Jail. But I'm pretty sure this follows a girl who is like a photographer. She ends up like catching her friend's boyfriend cheating on her and then she's like trying to be like a private investigator kind of thing to catch him in the act. But then she ends up falling for the guy that she's spying on for her friend. It's like that kind of thing. So cheating best friend trope, I guess. I don't know. Is that a trope? I feel like it's not a good trope, but it might be in this book. We'll see. The next one is Obsession by Amanda Robson, and she basically just said, this is self-explanatory when she was explaining it to me. So I'm guessing like Obsession ends in stalkers, ends in death, ends in murder, hopefully, because that's what I like on this channel. The next one that she picked is I'll Never Tell by Katherine McKenzie, and this one is like I'll Never Tell, as in I have like a huge secret about you, but the person's like, I'll never tell, and then like, bad things happen because you're trying to hide that secret but then shit comes out and then like you're screwed so this one was actually on like my most anticipated releases when it first came out like back in like january or something like 2019 like it was a long time ago but it like follows this family whose parents end up dying and they used to live on this estate where this girl died and basically they're not allowed to inherit anything until they solve this murder of this girl and i'm pretty sure that the parents thought that someone in the family murdered this girl and that's why they're like we're not giving you the money until you actually like tell us who did it kind of thing but um yeah murder we're here for it and then the last one that she chose is when the lights go out by mary kubika and it's like when the lights go out very bad things can happen like monsters or like death or like murder again clearly that's the theme on this channel is just murder i honestly don't know that much about this book i like to go into mary kubika's books blind just because like 
I can usually figure out if I read the synopsis what's gonna happen in her books so I like to not know that so I honestly don't know anything about this one so like if you're really interested look it up on Goodreads because I'm not going to sorry <laughs> I know that makes me a bad booktuber all right everybody so that was my TBR for July 2020 let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>